G'day folks. I want to start answering a few of the questions that I receive publicly so that you can all share the answer. Now today I've received a great question by Tom Shee, S-H-E-E-H-Y, Shy, Shy. I'll put it on the screen now. Tom Shee, sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Hi, great vids. What's the difference between a yabby and a crayfish? First of all, I'll tell you the scientific differences and then I'll tell you my observations. Great question, Tom. Now, scientifically, everything has a taxonomy. You know, kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species. You might belong to the Animalia Kingdom. I think we belong to the Animalia Kingdom. Then it gets broken down into mammalia for mammals and, and etc. Then it gets right down, right down to the bottom when you get the genus and the species. A good example, which is this one, is a yabby. We all know a yabby is called a Cherax destructor. A lot of us know that a yabby is called a Cherax destructor. The Cherax is the genus, and the destructor, the destructor is the species of that genus. So the common yabby, the Cherax destructor, is the destructor version of the Cherax. The marron in Western Australia is the Cherax aldibus. So that's a different species of Cherax. A crayfish isn't a Cherax. It's a different, it's a different genus but they both belong to the same family. Let me break it down. A, uh, a yabby belongs to the kingdom of Animalia. It's an animal. The phylum is Anthropoda, so it's an anthropod. Subphylum is Crustacea, so it's a crustacean. If you look at a kangaroo, it would be Animalia as well, because it's an animal. Then the phylum would probably go into Mammalia, I would imagine, because it's a mammal or something along those lines. But anyway, moving down. So we've got Animalia, Anthropoda, Crustacea, so it's a crustacean. The class is Malacostraca. I don't know what that means. Order is Decapoda. Lots of big words. I don't know what that means either. So super family is Parastasoidea. The family is Parastasidae. Parastasidae. So the family, this is what you need to remember. The family is Parastasidae. Genus is Cherax. Species is Destructor. So the crayfish is exactly the same. Animalia, Anthropoda, Crustacea, Malacostraca, Decap Decapoda, Parastacidae. So that, that much is exactly the same. So mostly they're the same. They're a shellfish crustacean. But then we get down to the genus and the species. So I go through the crayfish. It's exactly the same. Family, para, parastasa, Parastacidae. I can't have trouble pronouncing these. But once we get below that Parastacidae, the genus is Eustachus and the species is Armatus. So where a crayfish is, a, a yabby is a Cherax destructor, a crayfish is a Eustachus Armatus. So they belong to a lot of the same families. It's only at the very bottom end, they're split at the genus. So whilst a yabby is the same as a marron in that they're both Cherax, a yabby isn't the same as a crayfish because that's, what did I say it was? <laughs> Some other really big word. So that's the scientific breakdown. The differences from my perspective, from the perspective of a fisherman, yabbies like stale water. They like dams that are stagnant, that don't have fresh water flowing into them. They like dirty water because they get eaten by birds and they're under attack from constant predators. They like dirty water where they feel safe. They don't care if there's no fresh water flowing in. Crayfish, on the other hand, they love fresh water. You might not be able to see it, but I'm, I'm standing here on the banks of the Buckland River where the water is really clear, it's freezing cold. Crayfish thrive in these sort of environments. So yabbies like dirty, warm water. We catch them mostly in summer. Crayfish like fast, clear, fresh, well oxygenated water, and we catch them in the winter. So I hope this helps answer your question. The crayfish obviously grow much, much larger. And then there's so many different types of crayfish. There's, uh, there's probably different sorts of genus of that, of that crayfish, different species of that genus and so on. But for the stuff that you see on my channel, the yabbies and the crayfish, the yabbies, warm water, summer months, catch heaps, dams where there's not many, much water flowing in, the water's quite stale and stagnant, where a lot of fish wouldn't survive, the yabbies will thrive. Crayfish will die really quickly in those environments because they need that high oxygen content in the water. I hope this has answered your question. I'm going to start choosing a few questions from time to time randomly in the comments. Then I can just research a little bit and then share the answers publicly. Thank you very much for watching. If you've liked this video, why not consider subscribing to my channel? And I'll see you in the next video.